Warm greetings to you, my fellow St. Lucians and visitors to our island. September is observed as Sickle Cell Month here in St. Lucia. I wish all who are living with the sickle cell condition well. Sincere gratitude to all medical and civil society organizations who have worked hard and continue to be dedicated to better outcomes for all who need help. Let us join in the observance of Sickle Cell Month. Fellow St. Lucians, we are still seeing effects of the fourth COVID-19 wave. Over the last 14 days, 1,606 new cases were noted, and we have 1,928 active cases in country. We have noted six COVID-19 deaths over the last 14-day period. Analysis of public health data and indicators takes place daily, and information which we have up to today, September 1st, suggests strongly that public transportation Social activities, including activities at entertainment establishments and bars, are still feeding the spread of the COVID-19 virus. These activities were more widespread during last weekend, and more pressure was placed on our first responders, who themselves are suffering from a shortage of staff due to COVID-19-related health issues. As a result, the government is currently reviewing the protocols as they relate to bars and restaurants, and therefore additional protocols for bars and restaurants starting on Friday, September 3rd, 2021, will be announced soon. Discussions will be held with the affected sectors to find ways of cushioning the impact of these measures. Over the last three weeks, the priority of our new government has been to provide much needed additional support to the arms of the public health system which manage COVID-19 directly. We have commenced actions to improve the conditions at the respiratory hospital to ensure compassionate quality of care. We have been able to successfully register eight Cuban physicians, internal medical specialists, and intensive care specialists to provide clinical support to our severe and critical patients who are in care. We are working to increase the nursing complement as well. Vaccination coverage at the level of the community continues to improve. We are hoping to get the services of the mobile unit to increase access at the community level. Vaccines are offered free of charge to the population. We note that 20% of our population has received the first dose of the vaccine and 15% is now fully vaccinated. We need to increase the percentage of people who are vaccinated and continue to advise the public to take the vaccine and to keep us and our families safe. We continue working with various stakeholders and sectors to strengthen the processes and reduce the impact of COVID-19 on the employees and the public. As we approach another weekend, I appeal to the public to take personal responsibility to safeguard the health and well-being of their families and our community. I thank you very much. <laughs>